This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at CES 2010. I'm currently at the Sensio exhibit at CES. I'm joined by Richard Laberge, Executive Vice President and Co-Founder of Sensio. Welcome to the program, Richard. Hi, Neil. You're welcome. We're very happy that you are here today. <laughs> that's good. Excellent. Well, let's talk a little bit about Sensio. What, yeah. what does Sensio do exactly? Well, what Sensio is, we have developed a technology to be able to take the left and right eye, which is 3D, and combine them into one single video stream and then it can be carried over the normal equipment, normal 2D infrastructure and then it gets to the TV, the TV has a sensor decoder and then it shows you 3D on the screen here which now you got the avatar game playing from a normal Xbox 360 that we have right on the bottom here so it goes to the normal HDMI cable, goes to the TV, the TV does the sensor decoding and then it, it plays the game in 3D. So the actual physical disc of the uh, uh, avatar has the sensual encoder output from the game. So now anyone who will have a 3D TV will be able to play it in 3D. Okay, so I'm, I'm not sure I fully understand. Yes. It, it, I mean, you can have like a full left, full right view for, for stereoscopic yes. 3D gaming. So how is Sensio advantageous? What is it that Sensio is doing? That, what need is it filling to make 3D, 3D possible? If you look at on the PC game, okay, you, have a, you can manage the two streams. When you get on the console game, we cannot output two full frame because the bandwidth of the uh, HDMI cable of the, or the capacity of the console game, well, it's limited to a single like a 2D stream. So that's where sensor comes in. We are able to carry the 3D signal, but in, within that 2D bandwidth, and then it goes back to the TV, and then the TV puts the two frame back so we can show it in 3D on the screen. So what I'm hearing is that there's a there's a, a, some, a limitation when it comes to the amount of information that can be transferred exactly. between the unit and the television. Exactly. So Sensio has this the compression algorithm or a means of, of exactly. making it take less space and yes. then extrapolating for the full 3D that's view. That's exactly, you understand it. That's exactly, so there's limitation in the bandwidth, so that's why we come in to solve that bandwidth issue limitation. Now we're looking at Avatar. You you, you briefly mentioned uh, Avatar in in 3D for yeah. for Ubisoft. Can you elaborate exactly what Sensio did with Ubisoft uh, to make you know Avatar possible? Yeah, absolutely. So what we work we work with uh, Ubisoft in order to have the. The, the game is rendered in 3D, but in order to be able to go, funnel into that pipeline of 2D, it has a Sensio encoder embedded on the disk that's able to combine the two streams the left, that has been rendered, go to the pipeline, and it, then it goes to the TV, then, it's that, then we create the left and right eye back. So that's the whole thing that we did with Ubisoft. It's the encoding part that they have embedded on the disk. Excellent. And I take it the decoding is happening on the television itself? There's some kind of hardware in there? That's exactly right. So on the TV, it has a decoder, the sensor decoder inside the Hyundai. We made the announcement this week with Vizio, which is the largest TV manufacturer. We'll have a sensor chip, decoder and chip in there, or not chip, but technology, I should say. And it will be able to recreate and decombine the image and then show it 3D on the screen. Excellent. Now you're doing work outside of gaming as well, I take it. Maybe you could talk about some of the other things that you're doing. Uh, I understand, like, we, you know, there's been a lot of attention focused on Blu-ray, like Blu-ray in the home. Does, does Sensio have some form of compatibility with this, this new standard? Well, let, look, look at the Sensio as a multi-platform way to bring 3D to the home. So we got the gaming here, we got the, what Blu-ray is part of the package media family, so Sensio has, uh, Blu-ray has chosen like to go with MVC, which is a full left, right eye resolution, and combine it. Takes more bandwidth, but with HDMI 1.4, the, uh, uh, the new HDMI, it will be able to do it. Well, Sensio is compatible with that all new change, so we are compatible with that, but you have to look at beyond Blu-ray. What, what's next and what's coming out of the content? Well, you have to look at broadcast, video on demand, IP streaming, and this is what we're showing on the floor, DVD playback, and these are different platforms that we're showing today at, at CES that makes people like enjoy 3D through multiple ways to, do, uh, to be able to do it. We're actually seeing a lot more in, in terms of like digital download or, or getting content through cable. So maybe you could elaborate a bit more as to you know how what, how Sensio fits into this uh, of getting content to the home outside of Blu-ray discs. Well, like, that's exactly those. so. Outside of the Blu-ray, you have the. Uh Again, the bandwidth limitation. If you look at broadcast, ESPN made the announcement this week. They want to broadcast 85 events uh, into, uh, over the next 12 months starting this year. And Discovery has also made that statement. How will they carry this 3D signal on the existing 2D infrastructure? This is where we come in. We have the solution. and our, our 
technology, the sensor technology, what we recreate and we give back to the TV, it's what we call like a full HD visually lossless. So the best quality 3D while we're using the same bandwidth as 2D, bring it to the home. So again, bandwidth issue on the other platform, IP, video on demand and broadcast. That's what we saw. Excellent. Now, you have additional products as well. I understand that you have a, a 3D menu system of some kind when it comes to Blu-ray. Can you elaborate a little bit more on this? Yeah, well, that's what we're showcasing on the floor. We have what we call a BD Java uh, some, uh, menu that we're showing. That Because of sensor technology, we are able to do it right now, today, with no issues. So that's what we're showing here. So that's one of the features. Also, on the Blu-ray, we have a showcasing with THX. We have uh, made an announcement this week where it, within the, the new product called Media Director, it, they will, uh, it will be like a sensual flag to be able to, for the TV, to recognize if it's a 2D or a 3D, sensual 3D uh, video to, for the TV to be able to switch automatically so you won't have to switch with your remote control and stuff like this to make it seamless experience for the consumer. So what I'm hearing is that you know, because of your new relationship with THX, it's a means that when consumers plug their television into their, their console or their Blu-ray or whatever item they connect, assuming that there's some type of Sensio capability in there, it will automatically detect this so it's an easy consumer experience. Am I correct? That's exactly, and that's what the Sensio, beyond pushing or selling our, our format, we had to look at the whole chain and how to make this 3D experience the most user friendly. And this is why our association with THX is part of that strategy. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks for joining us on MTVS TV. Pleasure. Neil's always a pleasure. <laughs> okay, wonderful, wonderful. Well, this is Neil Schneider, MTVS TV at CES 2010. We'll be back with more.